So there's a lot of buzz at the moment about Framer and comparing it to Webflow and is it good, is it bad, is it better, is it worse? And so I took a look last week on a live stream just my first impressions of Framer from the perspective of a developer. What I'm gonna do is just explain to you my observations, my thoughts and my ideas in hopefully less than five minutes so you can make a really quick judgment whether to choose Webflow or Framer. So right off the bat, Framer is a much simpler web tool to use over Webflow. The learning curve for Webflow is quite high. You need to understand HTML and CSS kind of concepts. You might not know how to write it, but you know the concepts such as padding, margin, flexbox, things like that. If that sort of stuff doesn't make sense to you, then try and look to Framer because Framer abstracts all of those coding concepts away from you and starts to define its own sort of terminology for things, which is really, really exciting especially for beginners. I'm not sure about the, uh, the longevity of that and, and how that, what that's gonna do for the, the web as a whole, but for you as a learner, it's a great place to get started. So if you're interested in giving Framer a go, which I strongly recommend you do, there's a link in the description which lets them know that I sent you there, so please consider doing that. And if you wanna take it a step further, then I'm giving you three months free on an annual pro plan with the, with the code. Pro Yearly Planner. I'll leave that in the, in the description box below as well. So good luck with Framer, I hope you really enjoy it. And now on with the video. Framer really does sit in between something like Figma and Webflow, making website development even simpler. It's got a gorgeous interface, very simple looking, very childlike in some ways, you know, very approachable, I think is the right words for that. It really leans into your knowledge of design and less of forcing you down a web development aspect. Now, I could sit here all day, and I do on this channel, and talk to you about how websites are supposed to be built, or they are built in a certain way. It's not a, it's not a design environment where you can just drag and drop and copy and paste and ha add all this stuff onto your web website. If you're new to building websites and you, you, you don't understand that, then Webflow is going to be a steep learning curve for you. Framers are more approachable aspect but please just know that it's just teaching you you can just drag anything onto the onto the page as you get better you obviously can build better websites but the the road is 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 always going to be the same right building websites and the way they're built and the, how browsers work is always going to be the same it's just what you do to get there so an interesting tool that I've reviewed recently, which I'm not sure if this is gonna go before or after that video, but the tool that I've looked at is called Web Studio. And Web Studio is a ridiculously simple version of Webflow where you haven't got to understand many of the coding concepts, but it's very drag and drop, very user friendly. You can build very, very basic websites without being overwhelmed by the sheer amount of tools and stuff like that. WebStudio.is is definitely on my list for something just to, if you're brand new to web, website development, then, then check that out. Framer is more geared towards designers, but designers, just remember, all roads lead to the same place when it comes to Webflow development. Certainly an interesting tool, be interested to see where they go to because this is obviously a big change in direction for Framer as a company. Hopefully that was less than five minutes. If you, uh, if you like this video, give it a like. If you wanna subscribe to the channel where we talk about more Webflow stuff and no code stuff, I'm gonna to look to do more reviews like this as well. I look at from a developer perspective about how good a tool is, then hit subscribe because that's what we do around here. Until next time, Happy no coding.